Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercress, and welcome back to Let's Play Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 Battle Nexus for the Game Boy Advance. In the last episode, we beat the sixth and final stage of Feudal Japan, which was another boss battle. And the expl explanation for that boss battle took longer than the actual boss battle itself. I have to apologize for that. I kind of expected that boss battle to give me enough trouble for me to redo it like once or twice during recording. But I managed to stick it out and get it done first try, and then I had to explain everything from there. So, obviously, we're heading back to New York for the final roll of the game. And there is a lot to do in Stage 1. And we have another cutscene to start this off, too. For this, I have two turtles that I want to use for this. Mikey and Wrath. I use Don, but there's really nothing Don specific here. Nothing Don or Leo specific in this stage. Like there's no charging up with the B with the B button and holding down and smashing a block that's below you. Nothing like that. I'm still going to play as Mikey though. The crystals are in place. Power meter's reading normal. Teleportation coordinates set to Earth. Three, two, one. Activating the teleportation machine. And we're back. Because we collected at least 85 crystals in each world. Which means we can unlock this, go here, go back to New York City, and go for the final world of the game. Whoa! It's the guys! They're back! Awesome! There's a voice I haven't heard for a while. And that subtle, sweet sewer scent can only mean that we're home. Well done, my sons. You've returned. Master Splinter! So we're back on Earth? I guess that ugly mug right there is proof enough. Glad to see you two sh shell for... Blah. Glad to see you too, shell for brains. Wow, I cannot English to save my life again for the zillionth time. Yes. However, this matter is not yet behind us. Ooh. Where am I? What's happened to me? You came to the Earth too, Professor? But why? I don't know. But just after I activated the teleportation machine, it began showering sparks, then exploded. I was caught up in the blast, and when I came to my senses, I was here. Allow me to explain. Uh, Mortu is here as well, though how he shows up here, I don't know. Also, he's still giving me Krang vibes. Someone maliciously hacked into your transmat. We merely managed to rescue you all, but... The transmat on your planet, Professor, was destroyed in the process. This time, you're the stranger in a strange land, Professor. Only one person could be behind this. The Shredder. Correct. This matter will not be resolved until we've stopped his plans to use crystal power for evil. Then what are we waiting for? Let's take Shredder out! Shredder is on the top floor of the TCRI building, but security is extremely tight, so breaking in will be no easy task. However, there is a way. Right! The teleporter! If we use a teleporter that can access the top floor, we can reach Shredder and his goons. Exactly. In our investigations, we learned of a trans device somewhere in the TCRI building made especially for accessing the top floor. In order to activate it, it will be necessary to gather red crystals hidden in the same TCRI building. Let's do it, guys! Let's sneak in and get those red crystals! And I'm going to do a drink of tea here real quick. 
Ugh. I verified a turtle's coordinates. It seemed they have returned to New York. But how could my hacking have gone awry? It doesn't make sense. It seems I overestimated you, Stockman. Do you know what happens now? Uh, no! Wait! I believe they're attempting to break into this very building. But I'll turn the tables on them with the security robots that I ingeniously invented. This is your last chance, imbecile. Finish them immediately. Yes, sir! Right away. It seems I'll have to put an end to those blasted reptiles on my own. And welcome to New York. So we have a series of teleporters. We're gonna have to take them all. And we're gonna have to do some things in order to, well, get around. Um, for starters, the security droids don't even dare fight them with the shurikens. Also, don't get caught. If you get caught, you will be forced to fight them. What that also means is any teleportation pads or hiding spaces, the floors will light up and if you go into them while or after an enemy has spotted you, you're going to get zapped when you try to use them. And you will have the fight the robots yourself. So don't do that. Here, we had to avoid getting zapped by that little force field while hitting these three things. As long as you're used to how the jumping works, you can hit those fairly well. I need to wait for this guy to turn his back. At least I have a way of hiding, but it's by ducking down there where that other teleporter where I came in was. I can't hide in the doorway or in another teleporter to get away from these guys if I get caught, because if I do, I get zapped. Now we need to go up here. And now we have the blue guys. The red guys will fire missiles if they see you, while the blue guys will shoot a three-way fire shot. And this is what I was talking about earlier. These guys are pretty fast. They'll nail you from a distance, and the hiding spots will light up. You don't want that. If they see you, and you don't have your weapon, get out of sight. Otherwise, it's going to be really bad. So we've gotten take those two little laser things taken care of. I knew you were walking to the right. Let's wait for you. Okay. We just need to go to both sides of this area, climb up to where the laser defense nodes are. Hit these up. Somehow not get caught. Like, right below the platform where the little pipe you can climb up is, that's a safe spot. And now we have our shurik... Not our shurikens, but our weapon. Now to hit this guy with our weapon. I want to beat these guys up. Because one of them has a blue key card, and we already beat that guy who had it up. Also, we will have to do some moving around and going back before we can really do much else. We will have to do a little bit of backtracking. Because... Believe it or not, there are some crystals we missed, and they are within the walls of this area. And now these guys are gone, and they will trouble us no longer. So now that that's over with, we need to find something that utilizes the blue key card. Before that, pay attention to the squares in the wall. 
the things that look like they're not connected to the rest of the wall. Because you can break them and you can access other places. We will be accessing other places. But I want to go all the way to the back first. Now these guys throw missiles. If they see you. And I forgot that that gap was a thing. Alright. And by going back, we can break these square-like parts of the wall. Somehow got hit by a missile because I didn't think the guy would shoot at me. And then, make our way to the bottom where we can access a previously uh, inaccessible teleporter. I do want to break these so I can get over to here. And we need to carefully... Well, that's one way of getting it, but that's not exactly how I wanted to do it. Of course, this is also going to take us all the way up to here. And, wait a minute. Oh, this place. I'll explain it later. For now... I do want to make it known. That one. Ooh. That was close. That one, if you go up there, there's a teleporter that we can't reach. And by exiting, by trying to get back, we end up over here. I cannot do, do a thing right today, apparently. What is over here? This place. You want to be very careful around here because these are lasers. These are security lasers. If these things see you, if these things run into you, the brown walls to the sides will open up and you'll have to fight some Robo Turtles. Also, this area. Let's go ahead and hit this monitor up with the up uh, key on the control pad. I can't believe I said up key. Then again, I'm playing playing a Konami game. They used to say the words press start key at the end at the beginning of games that they made for the Famicom and NES way back in the day, so it kind of sort of makes sense, but it also kind of sort of doesn't. This teleport is blue. It needs a blue key card. And I need these guys to stop hitting me. Not exactly how I wanted to do that, but fair enough. Alright. We got the yellow key card from one of those two guys. So now that we have it, we can now do things. Also, that area with... That you had to swing, that I had to swing around, swing in to get to the other side. There's a red t teleporter all the way up there at the top of that area, and to get that, you obviously need to one get all the way to the top, and two you need a red key card to even use the teleporter. Where do you guys go? Over to there, apparently. Don't worry about the crystals that are here right now. Well, except for these two. I can easily get those. But don't worry about the crystals in the water. We'll be able to get them later. For now, we have a yellow teleporter at the end of this room. We need to enter it now that we have the yellow card. And you need to be very careful when fighting these guys because they can strike back.
And it doesn't matter which teleporter you take, because one, you'll get the red key card from these guys. And two, you'll end up right here. Now, by using this monitor, we get rid of the rainbow color jellyfish that are over in the pool that we just swam across. Now that the jellyfish are gone, we can use the left. Now, now that the jellyfish are gone, we can grab the crystals. I don't know why I said use. I'm thinking too far ahead. I'm probably thinking about that one area with the little rods that I have to swing across. I still want to get that, though. And that is how you get that crystal. You gotta be Mikey to get this one. I mean, you can get, you can be any turtle to get the two near the teleporters, but you gotta have Mikey and his nunchucks to get to that. So, we need to head back to the beginning. Like it's a Slopes Game Room video. I'm mentioning Slopes Game Room, what is wrong with me? Never thought I'd be mentioning slopes. Alright. Now this... I forgot about this. Let's get this. And this. Can I even get this? I can. I don't know why I'm... Ducking there because I don't have the duck. Now the next part I have to duck. At least that gets those out of the way. Now let's not horribly mess this up. Once again, we gotta be careful where our feet go. And because we are Mikey, we can do a thing here where we can float around. Oh. Don't be pointing yourself down there, kid. We can really concentrate as we try to get up there. Now, you can be a any turtle to get these two, but it's even better if you're Mikey because you can be careful as you do it. And this red teleporter takes us to the exit. Whew. I thought I was going to lose all my health and have to do this stuff over again. Oh, man. That would have been a heartbreaker. Anyway, raft time. We're going to be doing most of the same stuff as before, but I'm going to try to see if I can do this a little better to see if I can preserve my health. It's going to be a little more dangerous because I don't have Nuntaku to do hel little helicopter glides with, but I will have access to a certain section. It, hey. You have to just tap the A button here. And I mean tap it. And when you stop ascending, that's when you throw. That's how you get those lower two. And thankfully I don't have to worry much about breaking stuff. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, go! I pushed it there. Now, sadly, we will have to go back. Much to my chagrin. But, I can at least go back here. That's the fun part. Now, it's time to do this all over again. Oh, I'm about to say, why aren't you going down? 
Okay, you go over there. Perfect. I'm surprised that didn't hit the guy in the head. And I went too far down. Like, you do not want to hold... Okay, for a minute there, I thought he would never stop. You, as soon as you do the animation for dropping down and grabbing the pole, stop holding down. Otherwise, you will probably get the attention of the lower guy. Okay. One side down, other side to go. You can hit these guys with your shurikens, but they don't even slow these guys down. Like, they don't react to your shurikens at all if you hit them from behind. Which could be a little useful if you're that patient enough to try to kill them with the shurikens, but why would you want to kill them with the shurikens? And I need to be super careful doing this stuff. And apparently, whoever has the blue key, it's random. But at the same time, you will always find it in this room. Okay. No, it's... No, it's the beginning that I have to go to. Okay. Yeah, I need to go all the way back to the teleporter. At the lower left here. Just... To go back to that one area I couldn't do with Mikey. Yeah, that part where we had to go back. But of course, we have to get through this first. Oh, that's right. Hold B, hold up, release B. Got it. Wait for these things. And I keep forgetting there's a pole here. I need to remember the pole. Okay. I need to remember... Ow! Get to the teleporter. Can't believe that happened. And then we go over here. This is very specific, and I did not practice this at all one bit. Um. Okay. A, forward, A, forward. Come on! <sighs> really? Why is this so... Oh, my lord. <sighs> and I had to do this as Raphael. And look, he's tired because I can't do this. If I get hit again... Yeah, you know what? I'll see you when I'm able to pull this off. Give me a break. Looky, looky. There's a thing there that I didn't even break. I can't believe I forgot all about that. On the other hand... That does get me up there. Oh dear. 
Am I going to have to... Yeah, I'm still going to have to. And I'm still running into stuff. Fun. And I can't I can't be too high because I'm going to hit the panels. And if I'm too low, I'm going to hit a panel on the way to one end. You know what? I'm going to come back with this when I have the winning run here. Be right back. You know what? Close enough. And I can't believe I hit myself there. Whoops. Um. What takes me where? Right, right, right. I gotta go back to the beginning to take care of the red guys. Well, that was disappointing let's see if we can do this without taking any more damage than we already have something tells me I won't I am not liking this at all Right. I gotta remember that I have a Dragon Punch with Raphael, and that I need to use it. Okay. I also need to remember... ...that this area is very dangerous. And I really shouldn't be going over here. And yeah, you know what? I'm gonna lose all my health here. I'll see you back. I'll see you back when I'm where I need to be, because I forgot where I needed to be. Alright, we're back. I forgot that I needed to go over here where all of the lasers are. So that way I can get another key. In this case, the yellow key. And I can continue from where I need to go. I know I'm going to get hit with a missile. Well, that saved me a little bit. That saved me a little bit. Only took the equivalent of one hit, so no net gain or loss there. But at least I know what I'm doing now. It is pretty easy to get lost in this area, unless you know what you're doing. Speaking of knowing what one is doing, hopefully I know what I'm doing here. And I know that these jellyfish are gonna close in on me. So, once again, we wait here. As I continually have to remind myself that I have to hold the button down to swim and use a control pad along with that. 
I'm gonna wait until I'm done with whatever's in here to get the health. Ow. Yeah, these guys have multiple weapons. And it's not what I wanted to do. I didn't want to leave yet. I want to go back up there and get the jellyfish, so that way... I can take care of everything. I can get the health that I need. And I can... Finally get to the exit. And this is going to be pretty difficult because this is all the health that I'm going to get. And now that this is over with, I have to go back to the beginning. I have to go to that teleporter. And go through that swinging. If I am to have any chance of doing anything here. It would also help if I'm a little more patient so that way these guys don't grab me and sap my health the way like the Triceratons from the prison worlds. Let's see here. There we go. I'm going to break this just to make it easier to get to the teleporter so that way I don't feel like I'm doing some gymnastics. And then I'm going to break my way over to here. We have all of the key cards, all of the... crystals we just need wait wait a minute okay wait on this wait on this again okay we're good climb up remember what to do with jumping pads let us not do anything dumb running jump to this Perfect. You know what? I'll take that. Let's get up there. Grab this. We're done. After 40 minutes of recording, then I'm going to have to edit down. Good grief. It's an on right stage. It's even less all right when you're going for all the crystals. And that is stage one of New York completed. A little longer than I would have liked, maybe a little longer than you would have liked, but hey, at least I showed off the process of getting everything and showed off where everything was. At least that was a thing that happened. Stage two has that light blue color, which means it's going to be... Yeah, it is going to be like those stages from the from the prison. Not the prison, but the but the base, that's it. Where we're on the little hoverboard thing and we throw shurikens and a whole bunch of stuff and try to collect all the crystals. That will be fun, I think. But we're going to have to wait until the next episode to play that stage. So, join me then, why don't you? Until then, this is Prince Watercrass. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!